Grown man business. Alright, we got another episode of Red Ghost Sports Talk. I'm your host, Red Ghost. And you already know, once you see this hat right here, we talking about NBA, baby. NBA action. Alright, before I even talk about the games last night, let's talk about the um, Golden State Warriors. A 23 and 0, baby. Uh, I got to check the schedule. I think they're playing tonight. or No, it's Friday night. Tomorrow they're playing. Uh, Thomas got hurt. He rolled his ankle. We know Barnes is out for a couple more games. But well, are they going to stay undefeated this weekend? And uh, when is they going to lose? Are they going to make it a 25-0? and 0, or Are they going to make it a 30-0? and 0? Give me your opinion. Because I'm re- <laughs> This is incredible, man. They breaking records out here. They looking very scary, man. I hope they don't burn themselves out. By the time they get to the playoffs, and then they lose, you know, in the the, the West, you know, in the West Championship or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna, we're gonna keep an eye on them, but they looking good. They looking fresh. They need a their defense is not as good as it was last year. So hopefully they get that together while it's still early in the season, because they used to have the they, they trap scheme, they they zone defense, and they they uh uh one on one. And double team defense was pretty good, man. It actually it was real good last year because they shut LeBron down when all the other guys got injured. But uh, this year, it's a little, it's a little shaky, you know. Um, I guess they focus on scoring so much they haven't really put much time in their defense. But we're gonna we're gonna see how it goes later on in the season after the All Star weekend. It's pretty much we're gonna see who's gonna be the top teams. Or the NBA, you know, usually after the All All Star Game in February, a lot of these teams really set themselves apart and start stepping the game up. The Knicks they starting to fall off a little bit. I'm, I'm worried about that, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go down some of these um scores and let y'all know who's playing last night. And it was a lot of good games too. Uh, the Rockets, Houston Rockets, they beat the Wizards 109. To 103. The Wizards been playing pretty good lately. I've been watching. I've been watching them. Um, they might be one of the surprise teams this year, along with the Celtics. So I'm watching the Wizards, but they did lose to the uh, Rockets last night. The Hornets. They beat the Heat. The Heat lost two in a row now. But uh, the Hornets been winning. The Hornets really been winning lately, man. And and, and uh, they've been quietly winning. That's another team to watch out for on the East. Uh, the Hornets beat the Heat 99 to 81. The Raptors, Toronto Raptors, been they beat the Spurs. The Spurs, they they let a couple of them go lately. I've been watching them uh, lose a couple games, but it's still early in the season. So you know, like I said, after All Star Weekend, you know, slam dunk contest and all that All Star game, a lot of these teams are gonna start setting themselves apart and getting ahead of the pack. So I'm watching the Spurs, but they did lose to the Raptors. Um, 97 to 94. The Grizzlies they beat the Pistons, 92, 93 to 92. Excuse me, they lost by one point. The Pistons lost by one. Timberwolves, that's another team to watch out for. They beat the Lakers, 123 to 122. The Clippers they beat the Bucks, 109 to 95. I like the Clippers. That's one of my teams um, on the West. So I said watch out for. They should be mad from last year. They want their revenge. Um, I really I, I rooted for them last year actually. Um, to go even two years ago because I, I like Doc Rivers, but they couldn't handle uh, Golden State. I don't think they can handle Golden State this year, and they worse. They they even worse this year with uh, Golden State. That is, they 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 more dangerous than they were last year. The Jazz they beat the Knicks 106 to 85. That's not a good sign. The Knicks they kind of dropped a few of them off. Uh, they lost a few games uh, in a row actually. I think I think this is two games in a row that I seen the Knicks. Lose, but uh, they need to keep it going. They started off good. They started great. You know, they got that young guy, the rookie, um, Pongzingis, Pong, whatever his name is. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but uh, they've been slacking, so I need them to pick it up. Uh, the Jazz beat the Knicks, 106 to 85. The Suns beat the Magic, 107 to 104. I think the Suns are going to be all right this year. I don't think they're going to. Do too much in the playoffs. They might make it to the playoffs. I don't see them doing too much because they're still a young team. But I think they're going to be all right, man. That might need to be the team of the future, man, because there's a lot of good young guys out there. And the Hawks, they beat the Mavericks, 98-95. Dallas been losing. Dallas lost a couple um in a row lately. 
been watching them and uh, the Hawks. They've been turning it up too uh, since they beat uh, was it the the Thunder? They they've been beating a couple teams on the West, so that's a good sign for the Hawks. And like I said, uh, the Warriors, the Golden State Warriors, they're 23 and 0. They beat the Pacers Tuesday, uh, 131 to 128, and that's when Thomas hurt his uh, Thompson hurt his um, ankle. He rolled his ankle. Um, he's uh, questionable for Friday if he's going to play. I think he's going to play because. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's enough time to get some rest. I won't play him too much. I play him in the first half, let him sit out for the second half, or whatever. Keep resting that uh that ankle. I think he'll be alright. And uh it's another episode of Red Go Sports Talk. We're talking about NBA, baby. Tell me who your teams are. Tell me who y'all want me to talk about. Any teams, any players, who y'all think who y'all going for this year, who y'all like. Uh, I, I said I was going for the Cleveland um, Cavaliers this year because I want to see LeBron James bring a championship ring to Cleveland, but when Golden State playing the way they're playing, I don't know. But I'm still going to ride with um, Cleveland this year. Uh, I never rode with uh, LeBron James for a whole season before. It's my first time, so I'm going to experiment with that. I want to see how it is. I'm going to get me a hat. This is my favorite team right here, the Brooklyn Nets. I want to let y'all know that. We still need some players over there. We still need some players. Kevin, uh, Kevin Durant, he's a free agent next year. I hope he goes so well like the Knicks, the Nets. You know, he would think about uh, the Lakers. Who would y'all like to see K um, KD go or stay home with, um, with OKC and Thunders? But uh, i like to see KD go somewhere else. But uh, tell me who y'all like, man. Is the Spurs going to do it this year? Their defense is still strong. Their defense is still solid. They beating a lot of teams from their defense this year. And that's going to be a problem for any player, any team in the playoffs, especially the um, Golden State Warriors. i like to see them two match up this year. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's it, man. Let me know what y'all think. Hit the like button. Share these videos. Uh, hey, keep growing. We're going to keep growing. Keep commenting. I appreciate the love support. And it's grown man business, baby.